I hate the indoors. Just been pooed on by a bird. Do you have any cerebral? Just got the driver's list. Cool. I think the first thing to do is just go through each page and circle any driver we've ever heard of. Okay. It's Thursday. That's day uno at the Neo. It's a balmy 23 degrees with a light southwesterly breeze. On the RC Radovan track behind us, a full day of practice with no time for a siesta. Yes. No, I'm, I'm looking through the driver's list. I don't recognise anyone's names. Uh, everything's changed. It's making me feel uncomfortable. Don't worry. I've been out there in the pits and it's all fine. Fairly early in the morning. Uh, it's still pleasantly cool. These lovely trees. Um, Phil pointed out, which is really interesting, that when we were here for the Euros two years ago, these trees were but mere saplings. And now look at them. They've grown mighty strong, girthy trunks and turned into trees. And that's about evolving, isn't it? And that's what's happened here at the Neo. Because we're not in Telford, we are in fact in Spain. Let's face it, to evolve is to change. And change can sometimes be a little bit unsettling. People can find change a bit uncomfortable. And you know, to make us all feel a bit better about that, let's look for some of the familiar things from the Neo that we just expect to be here every year. Would you follow it to the end of the earth? Yeah, of course I would. Yeah, I'm here, mate. Yeah. 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 Are you? I'm here. All right, good. We're so both we're here. here. Yeah, yeah. You're here. I am. Am I? This is your track as well, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. I mean, you do all right here. Yeah. He doesn't do so good, does he? This guy. David's here. What's that? Here? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm a bit depressed now. I thought I, I was ready. <laughs> I'd like to speak to you on the first day before you get really miserable. I'm never miserable. No, I know. Oh, yeah. Only when I see you. Just, just writing some flames. Some flames! I'm just depressed because my e-buggy run is up soon and that, that's my e-buggy. <laughs> Are you going to go out then? Just, just lay it on the track? <laughs> yeah, just lay it on the track. This is quite good for you. You might make the final. Savoya's here though. Taking some holidays in southern Spain in March. Why not? And plus, we're a lot less drivers here. Might make the final. <laughs> Might be easier. <laughs> so there's definitely no need to panic. We have two pretty good guys with us at the moment. Uh, Mr. European Champion, how's it going? Hey, not bad. Just, I mean, layout it's like known for almost everyone, but I don't know why the dirt now it's so crazy. I mean, it's super inconsistent, and maybe you're having not grip, and then you have too much side bite, and you don't know exactly what to do. Mr. Worlds, how's it going? Decent, I would say. I mean, uh, missing a little bit of speed, but we'll get there. Uh, as Robert said, the track is pretty inconsistent. At some spots you have grip, you know, wants to tip over, and then some spot it just spins out. Before we go any further, guys, is there some beef here? Because I heard, I heard, David, that you gave Robert a defective servo <laughs> intentionally <laughs> to sabotage. This isn't good. I put it to you that that is bad sportsmanship. How do you respond? I mean, when I got the chance to, to do something like this, I mean, if I can beat him before going out on the track, it's, it's, it's fun, so. I mean, I broke like two or three, so I just went, went to him, I said like, do you have any servo? It doesn't matter, I mean, I need just two servos, please. So I just put, and sound was strange, and I said like, oh, it doesn't work well, and I was like, Super crazy about the servo, and I said like, okay, I will find another one. I, I was just asking to Nicola Marrone and also Savoya, everyone. I said like, maybe one for me, please. <laughs> yeah, it was quite crazy, but here is everything okay. Everything's okay here, so far, so far. Now bear with me, right? Let me get this through. You have both been a world champion. 
you have both been a European champion, right? You both won your worlds in America. I mean, South America, but America, yeah, yeah. You're both doing pretty good in America right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that maybe why our friends across the pond decided not to come and play this time? Huh? Are they scared? I. Are you scared? <laughs> I would not say scared, but for me it's a shame just for them to not to come here. Uh -huh. I mean, it's a European style track, which is not used to race against yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, yes, Americans came to near race, but it was like America. I mean, it was, okay, it's UK, but track was exactly the yeah. same. Mm -hmm. So I would like, I mean, top guys will be even top. It will be the same. Yeah. I mean, Tesman won in Italy. So, I mean, talking to Mephi is like, yeah, of course I want to go. I want to practice. Like, I'm not afraid, you know. <laughs> I want to I wanna go out there and have fun. It's, uh, the track was looking great. Everything everything seemed to be great. But I guess just the budget wasn't there. Um, of course, you're now also depend on the weather. Normally, it's okay here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I think it looks, it's looking good for the weekend. And so, this time is fine. But, I mean, at the Harper Adams, they know for sure that they were going to be running. They know it's going to be horrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. No, but that's probably two of the reasons. And I, I mean, that it's a permanent track. I think that's just because, I mean, for me, I won Euros in Reims. That track has been the same forever. Mm -hmm. I mean, every European, we go to the tracks that's been the same for a long, long time. Yeah. So it's just like them having nationals. They always build a new layout for the nationals over there in the US. When we have our nationals, which is the Euros over here, mm -hmm. the cooperation, we go to a track which is, which is a permanent track and it's been there for a long time. So I don't, I don't think that uh, that's just both. And I think all the top guys would be in the top anyway. Uh, so we're calling it. We're calling it. It's BS. That's that's what we're calling it. Final thing. Uh, how have you guys found the organisation? It's been all right. It's been okay. It's been pretty good. Not too bad. Not too bad. Well, it should be because Phil brought out the big guns this year. You've come to the Neo, or rather, has the Neo come to you? Oh, 50-50, let's say. Uh, I am 800 kilometers away from home, so at the end, it's a 50-50 game. You're obviously very integral to Ifmar and Efra. Yeah. This is not one of those races, but do you see an importance in this race? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, I think it's one of the biggest events in the year. Uh, the place, the location chosen by Phil has been excellent. You see this weather. Come on. I hate indoors. I have been in indoors. The first Neo in Holland, I was there, freezing cold, under the snow, with the Americans, so all, 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 Jesus Christ, we were suffering. With you being here, it makes me think, what time's the opening ceremony? Oh, <laughs> there's no such ceremony here, I think, I don't know really. Maybe I can sort that out, maybe we should have one. Okay, this could be a go now. Um, we need to make this happen. Okay, step one, book the track. Phil, yeah. what time's the track going to be empty? Uh, tonight, when it's dark. When it's, no, but what time? Oh, uh, 6.30. 6, 6 6.30, cool, it's going to happen at 6.30. Step two, book the media. Nick, 6.30 tonight, opening ceremony, it's on. <laughs> really? Step three, convince the drivers. So 6.30, opening ceremony. Okay. Yeah. On the track, 6.30. Yeah, it's really nice. 6.30, opening ceremony, okay? Okay, I'm going to be ready. Half past six tonight, opening ceremony. Yeah, no problem. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see you there, okay? Okay, okay cool. Bring your buggy. Uh, we're not representing nations, it's for fun, so if you've got any suggestions for music you want to walk onto. Maybe uh, something heavy metal or Maybe. something. Get some drum and bass on. Drum and bass, okay. Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand. I feel quite sure that this is going to be a success now. <laughs> Seriously, um, stay tuned for that exciting Neo first. Phil, good practice day? Yeah, I think so. Definitely good first day of uh, the Neo race in Spain. Um, people seem pretty happy. How is it looking on track in terms of drivers achieving what they want from today? Well, I, I guess you'd be lying if, if no driver said they want to go a little bit faster. But to be honest, it's early days. The track is looking like it's going to slowly break up, I think, and that favours a few drivers that I've been speaking to. At the moment, it's obviously 
the rain in Spain, so 1-2 with Robert Basso on top and then Juan Carlos Canas just behind. I think there's obviously a few drivers who are struggling with the layout. Um, it takes time for them to get to used to like the depth of the layout above all and certain bits which you think are straight like the straight which is actually curved like a banana at the end. Um, what jumped out at me just looking at the top 10 is Savoia in fifth. He's doing really well. He's impressed me, to be honest, to be that high. It is over three laps, so don't, don't forget. Wolanka up there with the S-Works, of course, in, in sixth. Um, JQ in ninth, or DQ as he's probably been renamed by, by now. I mean, Lee Martin is maybe struggling a little bit down, but he's always been a sort of slow burner. I think he get, takes his time to get to grips with the track. What about the current champ? Have you seen him at all? I have seen him. I have seen him. Well, Robert, you mean? No, the current Neo champ. Oh, the current Neo champ. Yeah, Unger, I think he's just slightly biting. It's just the Neo, you know, not the Euros. <laughs> no, I realise. Yeah. <laughs> the Neo Neo, actually, now. No, Unger, I think he's, gonna, he's a bit of a dark horse currently. He's going to come towards the final for sure. OK, so finally, in a word or a phrase or a sentence at most, but don't push it to a paragraph because we haven't got time. How would you say the vibe compares this Neo to previous Neos in the UK? Uh, I want it from the horse's mouth. Chilled. Chill. This is the chilledest Neo ever. But as we all know, Neo stress can set in. And when that grips you, it can be really hard to shake off. Until now. <laughs>what really gets me is like you're doing all these live streams and all these people are following and talking to you and talking about products and advice and runner folks like the new Casey Neistat with his vlogging and RC racers are getting just as popular as the media providers and what I wonder is is there a place for us anymore in any of this do you even need us to me it sounds like basically what you're saying is you aren't doing a good enough job Thanks for that, JQ. Really, really helpful. If you've got any issues you want to raise with JQ, comment them below and we'll ask him tomorrow and then we can all find out how to live our dream, just like him. Wonderful. Don't forget, follow me, follow him, follow these. And if you've liked today's video, give us a like and consider subscribing. You could do that, yeah. But now, we can't delay it any longer. It's about to happen. This is a Neo first. Get in. It is the Neo 2018 opening ceremony. Let's do it. Well, this sucks. What's going on? Where is everyone? I really felt sure that they would turn up. I really thought that this was going to be on. They, would, they said they would be here. This is embarrassing. I know. Well, let's just go home. No, we can't go home. We have to go through with it. We said it was happening at 6.30. We're going to make it happen. Right. We need to outsource out the music. You get some signs. Right. Just any signs you can find. We'll hold signs and we'll have music and we'll parade. Any signs? We're going to parade. Get some signs. All I'll right. get the music. Okay. okay. okay.